Hello there. Hello there. Cole's here, and welcome back to LEGO Worlds. And I have finally bought the Monster Pack DLC. So we are now able to access this world right here, the Monster Town world, which has that little kind of uh, haunted house with a moon, and it looks like a bat in front of the moon. The logo on the map there, on the galaxy map. So we're going to go ahead and uh, enter the game, go into that world. Now, I'm actually at 90% achievements, as you can see right there. Achievements, 90%. And the last ones that I need to get, I think, are all the Monster DLC, apart from the Billion Stud achievement, which I still need to get. So we'll have a look at the content of the Monster DLC. See what I think of it. Oh my word. And already I am impressed. Monster Town. Just by these buildings, they're insane. Ah, what have we here? A spooky town full of all sorts of monsters and creatures. But they seem to be having some trouble with the undead. How weird. Why don't you see if you can help them out? Yep, sure. Okay. So, um, I just realized that we don't have a heads up display on. And I'm just going to quickly check that there isn't any props here, any objects that we... I don't think there's any... Oh, wait. We do have one, at least. It's a pretty cool looking lamppost. It's got, like, a bat on the top. Oh, a new car. Go and check that out. Bunch of new characters. Well, when I say new, new to me, not to you guys. You guys have probably had this DLC for, well, since it came out like two years ago almost. One and a half years ago, I think it was. Alright, that's the first vehicle. What the heck is this thing? It's like a, it's like a hot rod hearse. That's a pretty interesting looking vehicle. It's got like giant spider leg bones. Um, I already have that one. Oh, there's the witch character. So on, I think it was the, the video that I did on the unused beta characters, I think this was one of them. Um, she had different trousers, she didn't have that thing. It was basically, I think it was pretty much the same pattern maybe, but trousers. And um, I think the, the head face piece is the same, and the, the torso is the same, as well as the hat. So I didn't actually realise that, but I guess I would have done if I'd got this DLC earlier. Um, who else have we got? Let's just go around and unlock this stuff that we can unlock without doing quests first. Maybe that's everything, I don't know. What the heck is that thing? Is this some like Halloween trick or treat giant box or something? Bunch of new objects. Quite like those market stalls actually, they're cool. There's the witch. She wants us to take a picture of her. I'm sure we can manage that. Ah, there we go. I didn't even have to get the camera out. It did it automatically. Take picture. Thank you very much. And now we can discover her. Or him. I'm not assuming it's gender. What the... That is, uh, that is certainly interesting. I mean, the monster truck itself is pretty cool, and then it has, like, these tentacle things coming out of it. I'm not sure whether that's cool or creepy, to be honest. That is definitely cool, though. A ghost train. Make a track for it. That would be really, that would be really neat. Um... What else have we got? I've got some more headstones. Gravestones, whatever you want to call them. 
There's a troublemaker over there. Another kind of broken looking headstone. I didn't even unlock that thing after looking at it. Let's just buy that. And... Is there anything else? I think that could be it for the objects. There's not seen any more, at least for the moment. Okay, so um, yeah, let's unlock that character wherever, wherever it was. I feel like we're not appropriately dressed either. I definitely need to um, kind of blend in with our surroundings so we don't have monsters and undead creatures coming after us. That is a pretty cool costume. Look, it's like it's a printed skeleton. Someone dressed up for Halloween. Can't stand those zombies when they're not. Oh, I don't know what he said. When they're not moaning, they're trying to steal my candy. Okay. Uh, okay, okay, okay. What do we need? Black weapon? Do they have black hearts? I feel like they do. Whoa, what the heck? Where's the other one? Okay, here it is. Let's get it before it surfaces. Easy peasy. That's one character unlocked. Move out the way, skeleton. I already have you. Collect those pumpkins. Oh, there's one over here. A glowing mouse. Well, uh, that's certainly interesting. Wait, where did it go? Hi, right, sir. We've unlocked that. We've unlocked that. We don't need to do that quest because we've already unlocked her. Let's try and unlock this guy maybe. Do we have him? We have him already. Got some more objects. What's that? It looks like a candle or something. And a three candle candle stand it's called. I was trying to come up with a name for it. What are those? What are candle holders called? I can't even remember. Pretty sure they do have a name. Got some kind of uh, ivory with some fawns and flowers on. That's pretty cool. Is it? Not ivory. Ivy. I have no idea. Got a bench. I don't know why we didn't unlock that before. Oh, that is a cool sign. Just look at that building right there. It's magnificent. It really is. Got some shelving. Nice. Save me having to build my own. And uh, a little dustbin. Whatever this thing is. It's like a Venus flytrap flower th thing, but with eyes. Got like a ghost woman. Gothic woman, apparently. And she looks dead to me. Uh, do we, have we unlocked her? Can we actually unlock, oh yeah we can. Never mind. Let's go and open that chest. Just oh, there's the bee man. Someone was telling me about his about his claws the other day. So let's unlock him. So I want his claws. Hang on, what's that? What do I need to do? Kill the spiders. They're coming after him. I feel bad killing spiders. They haven't done anything to hurt me. Spiders are good guys, they kill the house flies and everything else. 
You don't want to kill him. Bee man. Uh, bee man. Fly man. Well, there we go. I've unlocked him. Oh my gosh. I hadn't, never, I hadn't seen that before. I mean, I've probably seen it in screenshots, but I completely forgot. That is really cool. So we actually have a ghost. Well, I was going to say ghost shaped moon, but it's like kind of a, a pumpkin ghost face with like little bat wings. Well, they're not really little, they are pretty big. Considering the size of the moon. Got a little rabbit there, I've already unlocked it. So we'll just leave it be for now. Don't know why there is this ghost train in the middle of a forest. It, I actually want to drive it. I, we'll, we'll go up to the road and give it a drive. See what it's like. After we open this chest. After all, that is what we actually came down here for. Lots of dead fish. Oh, wow, thank you. That is just what I wanted. Some fish carcasses. My favourite. Right, this guy is starting to annoy me now. Where is he? Where's this troublemaker? I can hear it. I can't actually see it. Where the heck is it? Can anyone... St well, I don't... I'm not even. I'm not streaming, so I don't know why I'm asking if you can see it. Oh, it's in the tree. There's nowhere. There's nowhere to hide. Oh, okay. Apparently there is. Apparently you can jump out of the tree. It's definitely easier to follow it, not in first person. We got a seed. Okay. And a black cat. Remember the black cat that I showed in the unseen characters from the beta? There was a black cat that looked really, really weird. What does it want? Oh, it wants the, it wants the fish carcass, okay. Hey, get back here, I've got your fish carcass. Huh. What's going on? I've cited, I've cited the quest, but it's not doing it. Let's continue. I guess there's no such thing as daytime in this world. Which makes sense. Yeah, it doesn't look like the sky is moving. Okay. So let's have a look at the new characters that we got. So far. I don't know if there's any more. We might have already got them all. Or we might not have. So we've got a skeleton guy. A guy dressed as a skeleton. Pretty cool. Got a witch. Like the one from early access. And we've got the fly monster. Which has lobster hands. That is definitely cool. Alright. So let's try. And do this. Wait a second. I want to give this guy a robotic arm and a lobster arm. Can we do that? Alright, there's a robotic one. I don't think you... Oh, you can have both at the same time. Whoa. <laughs> that is cool. Okay, so we've got one cyborg arm, one lobster arm. We're kind of uh, like half Davy Jones, half Terminator. Alright, let's actually test drive this vehicle. This is uh, three of them right here. I like the way it like vibrates with the with the engine. It actually drives pretty well as well. Sounds good as well. The engine sounds cool. And it seems it seems to turn quite slow. I don't know if. It actually is. It's like a placebo effect or something, or it actually is slower. It seems less responsive. Huh. 
Very nice. And then the next vehicle, this weird looking thing that has tiny little wheels. It's like a it's like a go it's like a coffin go-kart. Oh yeah. That's the view I'm looking for. We'll never crash driving around like this. Okay. Yeah, that handles pretty nicely. Oh my golly gosh. Oh, that is definitely cool. It's a pirate ship vehicle. I mean, does that, do the wheels, do you actually use the wheels or is it floating? It is definitely floating. But this turns much better than the other vehicle. It turns like a ship, it like leans. But the rudder doesn't actually turn the direction it's going, I don't think. It just moves by itself, if you watch it. I like the way it leans when you turn. Like a, like a ship actually does when it turns. It's very sensitive, the turning on this, actually. Oops. But I can't complain. I do like this vehicle. We have a little... A little pumpkin thing. Oh, it's a build. It's a bike. What do you call them? Monster bike rack, that's the one. Can you that? Sick looking bench with a... Uh, they like decorating things with, with bats on this... On this world. And uh, is there anything else? Oh, we've got a sign saying stop. I might actually use that in the cities. Because after all, I mean, it's just a stop sign. It's not like it's got bats all over it and things. Oh, we actually have some playground equipment. That's the, basically the bat edition. The monster pack edition. I can't believe I never got this before. I think I was kind of disappointed with the classic space DLC. But I think for what it's worth, I think this is much better than the classic space DLC. There are some pretty cool objects in the, in the space DLC, but like the vehicles and things, I didn't think were great. Oh, we have this character. He has like a little black teddy bear with an eye ripped off. Let's quickly unlock the other objects in here before we unlock this guy. Mwahaha! Stealing teddy bears from kids is fun, but it sure is thirsty work. Go and fetch me something to drink. The blackest, gloopiest, tastiest potion, and I might agree not to steal your favourite childhood toy. No promises, though. Mwahaha! I mean, isn't that pretty much what that Momo thing said? This guy is the reincarnation of Momo. We should not trust him. We should actually call the police on him. Saying that he'll steal our childhood toys if we don't do what he says. Um, what did he actually ask us to do? He asked us to get a potion. I have never seen that potion in my life. I guess it's part of this DLC. And I have no idea where to find it either. Um, maybe open a chest? There's actually a chest right in here, so hopefully it's in here. If we can find our way inside. I don't know if that's how you're meant to get in this building, but it's certainly the quickest way. Alright, we got whatever these things are. What are they? Actually, don't, I actually don't know what they are. There's our skeleton fish. 
And, oh, what? How? That's, that's an egg. That's not an egg. So if I throw this, what happens? Nothing. Okay. I thought maybe like an egg, like a, not an egg, a, a chicken would hatch. I'm pretty disappointed, to be honest. Okay. So what do we need to do? We need to find that potion. I'd, I'm not entirely sure where. But somewhere. I actually like how this world has been put together. I mean, there's just roads everywhere. And lots of buildings and spooky stuff. I feel like the space DLC, there was just kind of too much greyness. This is very, very cool. Oh, let's open this chest. Maybe we might get something useful in this one. Oops, I kind of broke the ground a bit there. Wait, what did I get? A bunch, an axe, and a bunch of skeleton heads. Let's go, and, let's go and explore one of these houses. Alright, it's inside. On the first floor. We've got a nice little sitting room. I think we've unlocked that. I guess there's a bunch more stuff to unlock in these houses. It's just the same animation as the other couch. Fair enough. I guess this was the front door. I think we went in the back door, didn't we? Yep. These, like these houses are genuinely actually just like really well designed, and they don't actually have, they don't have to be spooky houses. Like you can kind of change them up, change like these columns here, and you know make them look a bit different and uh, less spooky. And then it's just a normal house that's actually got a very like spacious interior. Oh, I like this. What's it called? The monster organ. I think we already have that. Yeah. Let's give it a play. See what it sounds like. Oh yeah. I'm a professional. I also like the lack of music in this world. It's just kind of got some atmospheric sounds like wind and things. And it just makes it a lot nicer. And actually less spooky, so maybe that's a bad thing. It just feels like it just feels quite calm and nice being here. Some might say it's an eerie silence. I guess. Look at the size of his house. It's a it's a flaming mansion. Oh my god. If anyone's ever seen the woman in black. Just after you see the rocking chair, the woman in black comes screaming down the corridor. Maybe we shouldn't go inside. Okay, we have to. Unlock that. Oh, the mat the mat's actually included. I was gonna say that mat's really cool because it's got the little bat icon thing on it. Then through here got a bunch more candles that we already have. Look how tall some of these houses are. What the heck? I wonder if this one goes that high. I think it does, doesn't it? Oh, what the... We've got a bath. With a spider on, what the hell? Get the shut the door, burn the house down. Nah, uh, I'm sure it's fine. It only it only eats the house flies, it's fine. 
And if it comes after me, I'll just crush it with my lobster claw. Wow, this is quite peaceful. It's actually a cool bath. We've got three candles. Well, I mean, I guess having a skull next to your bath is probably not that cool, to be honest. And we have a sponge. Nice. A sponge that looks like it has, like, boogers or something on. What are those green bits on it? Uh, I think that's everything for this floor. Let's go to the next one. So I think this is the top floor of this house. Yeah, it looks like it. But actually, yeah, I mean, this, this building, this house is actually pretty big, but it's not even the biggest house in the game. Well, in this world, even. Just look how, how detailed it is. Very cool. I don't think I can say it enough times. I'm just genuinely impressed. This is actually so much better than the, the space DLC, in my opinion. A monster bin. Is that what it is? Monster wheelie bin. Does it have any animation? No. Okay, good. I don't want it to have animation. We got a bed. The last house didn't actually have any beds. We have a light, a chair, a monster, even a monster TV. They've got everything here. The thing I like about all these props, because the ca like a lot of them are just stuff that's kind of already in the game, but it just adds variety for when you build towns and buildings and things. You don't have to put the same, you know, the same beds, the same TVs and stuff. You just get more variety and more options like this. That is cool. It's a little weird. I don't know why it's got teeth sticking out of it, but... Little pumpkin picture above the fireplace. Okay. It looks like we've actually got like four fireplaces, no, three fireplaces. Seems a bit excessive. But uh, then again, I'm not a monster, so I don't know what temperature is the optimum living temperature. Oh. Wow. That's actually really... Hmm, what should I say? Cool, awesome, neat, fantastic. But actually the fact that these have animations is, is like, genuinely awesome. It just adds to the kind of monster theme, adds character. And a bit of atmosphere as well, I guess, with like the creaky cupboard doors and the moving monster hand inside. Let's unlock all this stuff. Oh yeah, we've got our fire, our stove. It's like a, well, I was going to say like a cauldron. I mean, it's just got pans on. They're probably cooking up some dangerous potions, I, I should imagine. Got a fridge. You know, you come downstairs in the middle of the night, you sneak downstairs to uh, get a snack out of the fridge and you see these claws coming out of the fridge, what do you do? Do you one, do you slam the door shut, snapping the nails off? And do you two, run back upstairs and hide under your bed. Or do you three? Open it up and get your snack anyway. I'm not sure. I'm not sure which one I'd pick yet. I guess I'll make my decision at some point. Got a bench. I've already unlocked that. Okay. And a nice balcony. Okay. 
Oh, we've got a... Wait, is that the potion that we need? I don't think it is. But we'll get it. We'll get this thing anyway. Just because these potions are worth 50k each. Might as well have it. Which, I think we're on this floor, weren't we? Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's go to the next floor. Oh, a monster toilet. That, I'm pretty sure that's, that spider looks even bigger than the one on the bath. It's just a big fat nope. Nope. Um... Okay. I like these little window places. Very cool design. You can't actually really see out of them though. That's the only thing. Alright, let's go to the next floor. I did a good job fitting these staircases in such a tight space as well. I must say. That looks like, um. What's he called? The rat from, uh. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And I think that is the top of this building, actually. I don't think it goes any higher. Or at least I don't think we can get up there. From what I can tell. But we can always climb up and have a look. So, that was the highest part that we were at, so yeah, that is the highest point. We've got a clock tower thing over here. Is there actually a clock on this clock tower, or is it just the tower, basically? Anything new in here? We've got a witch. Oh. We've got some... Alchemy tables. Another toilet. With a skeleton foot as the flush. Very cool. Hang on, I thought I unlocked this witch. Wait, what is it? What does she want me to do? I don't know what that means, love. What the heck is that build? That What is that that she wants us to place? What is it? Do you want to give up? Yeah, I do. I don't know what I don't know what you're asking. Oh, we've got a ghost woman. Okay. What do we have to do here? I think we have to Oh, here's one of the zombies. Why is it coming from such so far away? Yeah, I killed it. There's more? Okay. Oi! Alright, and then the last one. I think. Uh oh. Alright, two in one. We got the potion from the troublemaker and we completed this quest and unlocked a new character. Hang on, what the heck? How did she end up all the way over there? The Banshee. I have no idea what that is. She has no legs, she just has like a floating ghost legs. This is basically PewDiePie. He has no legs either. Oh! You can have legs and fly. That is even better. Chicken man! Well, that's not really a uh, a monster now, is it? What does he want? 
<laughs> Hang on, what does he want? Oh, I some carriage. I haven't seen that yet. Let's take a ride. Yeah, this isn't calling it too well. Alright, there's the black cat again. Can we actually do this quest now? Hey, I'm the same as you, I'm a skeleton as well, but I can float. Aha. Uh -huh. Wasn't expecting that, was he? There we go, we've unlocked the black cat. I think we already had, actually. Okay, what happens? She follows. She follows us. Where is this music festival thing? Is that it there? That purple thing? No, it's not, is it? That's a house. Okay, well, I guess she's going to follow us to wherever it is that we're taking her. That I am yet to find out where it is myself, also. But whatever floats a boat, if she wants to follow, then so be it. All I'm doing is guessing. I'm pretty sure I didn't see that concert thing anywhere. Cool new horse. Please, I implore you to save me from that angry horde. Wait, 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 wait. Let me get out a sword or something. I need something to... Alright, that was pretty easy. That guy just ran off. Yay! Where'd he go? Alright, nice. Um, so yeah, we've got to unlock the chicken suit guy, and we also have to find out where this person wants to go. Yeah, I can take a picture of you if you follow me. The guy that you want a picture with is right over here. You get a, you get a witch in the picture as well. That'll be an extra five studs, please. Alright, now the only thing that we have to do is find where this witch wants to go. That's just a normal diving board. Very well. Still have no idea where this concert thing is. Let's go and help this guy out. He looks like he needs a hand. I started carving this pumpkin, but now I've carved too much. Please, could you help? Make it look a bit spooky, but not too spooky. I don't want to be scared when I look at it. Okay. So we have to put a fire inside it. A campfire. A bonfire, rather. Oh, there we go. We finally unlocked the gothic characters. Maybe you just can't play as them, actually. Maybe that... Oh, 100 grand for that vampire hearse. That is pricey. Okay, there's the bonfire. Put that inside to uh, light it up. Now we have to build on it a little bit. I don't know what he wants exactly. I think he wants us to do the eyes like... That one. Is this the right colour? Nope. Yep. A few moments later. Alright, we're done. Thank you very much, I'll take that gold brick off your hands. Now have 120. And, um... A bunch of carrots. That we don't need. Okay. Alright, the very last thing I need to do before I end this video is find out where the heck this concept thing is.
Oh, we found another character. The Lord Vampire's Bride. Okay. She wants, she wants a load of bats, okay. I think I can, can maybe do that for you. Thank you very much. I will take that money. Except half of it went in this one. And uh, unlock her before she disappears. Full character. Alright, we still need to find this music concert thing. Or whatever it is, some festival. Where is the festival? There's one of the there's one of the vehicles that we haven't driven yet. The hearse. Where am I going? It's not the best for off-roading, it appears. I think it's perfectly acceptable considering the circumstances. Oh my, okay, this is cool. So there's actually a monster spooky football pitch thing. I was wondering why there was a goal, goal post like that. And now I know why. There's actually a football field, or soccer field, to, uh, to you Americans. What the, we've got some kind of castle up here, okay. Let's go and check that out. How do we get up? Take it, we have to climb. I don't think there's any staircase up here. I could be wrong, there could be actually there could actually be a staircase. But we're just gonna climb. It's a ghost guard in the door. He's not doing a very good job. We just walked straight past him. Can we actually oh we can actually unlock this gate now. I've been wanting to unlock that for a while. Because I had it from using the fixtures code, but on this one as well, I've never actually unlocked it. Oh wow! Oh, you can actually go inside there. All right, let's do a quick explore of this place. Let's do a quick explore of this place then. A large coffin. Take it, this is Dracula in here, his coffin. Where he sleeps. It's actually, like an exhaust vent thing here. That's cool. If we go up the stairs here. Tower. Let's have a little climb around. I don't know what this thing is. Is it meant to be a clock or something or what? I'm not, I'm not entirely sure to be honest. I like this little tower coming off the side here. With the candles in. There's a yoga mat up here in this tower, not entirely sure why. Maybe the lady vampire person likes doing yoga. That's all I can that's all I can guess. Yeah, that's all that's up here. Just a yoga mat. Got a tower here that you can actually go inside. And it just takes us back to this part. Very cool build. Let's go inside. Which bit do we still need to go in? I think, in the, I think it was in the prison cell. We can actually go inside there. To 
go inside of this. Whoa. What the heck? That is one of the coolest objects, I think, that's in the game. That lava flow thing. I think we maybe have all the others. Another alchemy table thing. This is really cool. Kind of looks like a back to tank or something. But a very hot one. Alright, let's head back up. We still haven't found where this festival thing is. You know, the one on that picture right there. I don't know if it's a real thing or not. I didn't realise these were builds. It's quite a lot of new objects. I'm very impressed. Also, this video should be fun to edit. It's like an hour long. Alright, let's jump back down and see if there's actually any way to get up there. I don't think there is. No. Oh, I just saw the chicken man. Let's see if the chicken man has a quest for us. It looks like he does. Where does he want us to take him? I've flapped away from a group of hungry looking zombies who are after eating some chicken. What is this concert area? I think I'm going to have to fly around to find where this concert area thing is. Or festival or whatever they want to call it. Because I have not seen anything like it. We have the witch and the chicken man. Chicken costume man that wants to go to it. I have no idea where it is. I feel like it must be on the outskirts somewhere. So I'm pretty sure I've checked all of the inside of the map. Is this it? What the heck? A giant bugman statue? Why doesn't it have eyes? Oh, it has one missing. I think that's a quest that we have to do. We're not doing that right now. One eternity later. Oh, okay. I found. Oh, all right. I found the concert finally. I was just flying on the outside. There's quite a lot of people here. Go. There you go. I've got you here. Hang on. Why can't I unlock it? I've done the quest. Oh, nice. We have some new builds in, some new objects in here, rather. What is it? A, some kind of speaker system. A new, like, spotlight. A director's chair. And we already have the TV camera. Anything else here to unlock? Or is that everything? It could be everything. Whoa. I like how they've actually got some guy on stage actually performing. That is, that's pretty funny. A whole bunch of uh, amplifier speaker things on here. Alright, I think that is just about everything unlocked. Alright, I'm just heading back up here to test drive the train vehicle. And then other than that, I think that is it. I think we have unlocked everything. If I've missed anything, let me know. Please, in the comments. And other than that, 
I, I've actually really enjoyed playing this DLC. I definitely should have got it sooner. It, in my opinion, it's much better than the Space DLC. Because the Space DLC didn't have that like nostalgic kind of effect for me. Because I've never played with you know the Space Lego when I was younger or anything. This vehicle is not ideal. It looks cool. It's definitely as aesthetic. Oh god, look at it. It's going all over the place. Yeah, what happened to oh there's the stage. I was gonna say what happened to it and disappeared. So we'll run everyone over there. I don't think we can, it just floats over the top of them. Alright, yeah, so that is it from me. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up and consider subscribing for more videos like this. Well, just more LEGO Worlds videos in general. So, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Can this, can this guy not wave? I don't think he can. That'll have to do.